Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing on Saturday afternoon, January the 21st, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast thoroughbred racing report. A couple of stake races to handicap this afternoon for you folks. Let's go to the Big A Aqueduct first for their featured race 8, 3.46 p.m. Eastern Post Time for the evening attire stakes. Eight and a half for a long route test on Aqueduct's winterized inner dirt track. Three year rolls and up, racing for a stakes prize of some $75,000. Contenders number one, eight of Fast to Catch, number six, Redding Colliery, number two, I Want Revenge, Revenge, and number three, Geminator. A few folks who enjoy a little thoroughbred racing history to accompany your handicapping efforts today. This race was originally called the Aqueduct Handicap and has been renamed to the Evening Attire Stakes in honor of the 2002 Aqueduct Handicap winner who retired in 2008 at the age of 10. Evening Attire, known for an exciting come-from-behind style, also won such handicap stakes as the Queens County, won it twice. The Discovery, the Red Smith, the Saratoga Breeders' Cup twice, the Stymie and the Stuyvesant, along with Grade 1 win in the Jockey Cup Goal Club. Cup and his track record setting victory in the final start of his career, the Greenwood Cup Stakes at Philadelphia Park. During his eight seasons of racing, Evening Attire finished first, second, or third in 40 of 69 starts. Of his 15 wins, nine were graded stakes, competing in the, the country's greatest races for older horses. From the Whitney Handicap to the Breeders' Cup Classic, he earned nearly $3 million. Here in the 93rd renewal of the stakes race, number one, Ada Fast to Catch has won more than half of his 13 career starts to date, racing at or about today's distance of eight and a half furlongs on the dirt. As the overall speed leader in this field has posted a trio of power run wins in his last four starts. Jockey Sheldon Russell and trainer Tim Keefe sent him to the post. They've whacked the tote board with 61% of their entry saddles of team to date. Number six, Redding Collery has hit the board in four of his last five including a pair of power run wins being embedded in this recent streak of racing consistency. Race 8 summary, number 1, 8, it too fast to catch. Tops my contenders list here in the evening attire, which also includes number 6, Redding Colliery, number 1, excuse me, number 2, I Want Revenge, and number 3, Geminator, 1, 6, 2, 3, and the 8th from Aqueduct, the $75,000 evening attire stakes. Let's go to Gulfstream Park in... Florida next for their feature, race 10, 4.45 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Kitten's Joy Stakes, eight and a half furlongs on the turf. Three year rolls, race for $100,000. Contenders number five, Lucky Chappie. Number six, Cosetti. Number one, Atalo. And number two, Argentine Tango. Number five, Lucky Chappie, an Irish bred entry in the overall speed leader in this field, racing at or about eight and a half furlongs in the dirt. Takes a big class drop of 17 track master units this afternoon. Has hit the board in power run fashion in four of his last five, including back to back power run wins in his third and fourth races back. The six to one shot, Cazzetti, comes off power run performances in each of his last three outings, including a maiden breaking power run win in his second race back. Race 10, summary number 5, Lucky Chappie, tops my contenders list today, which also includes number 6, Cazzetti, number 1, Atalo, and number 2, Argentine Tango, 5, 6, 1, 2, the 10th from Gulfstream Park, the $100,000 Kitten Joy Stakes. Bonus long shots, Beulah Park in Ohio, race 7, the 8-1 to one shot, number 3, Made the Steel, slightly better, better speed, sprinting at today's distance of 5.5 furlongs than the favorite, Charlestown. Let's try race number five, entry number four, red victory, a four to one shot. Speed figure spring at six and a half furlongs, which are comparable to the favorite, number nine, Miss Addy Kiss. So handicapping from both Aqueduct and Gulfstream Park on a Saturday afternoon. Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over.